Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake with Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate mean angles or average angles, for example, the type of angles you would measure in a total station survey. Uh, we're going to use horizontal angles in the couple of examples that we're going to work, but this also applies to, to the vertical angles that you would measure in a total station. Okay, now why would we calculate mean angles? Well, you do that to uh, come up with a best fit angle uh, that is a better approximation of the true angle, right? So that's one reason. The other reason is you may take a set of angle measurements and calculate an average and then look at, at some of the other statistical information to, to try and determine how precise is, is your angle measurement, okay? And so when you do things like angle balance in a, in a traverse or a total station survey, you're going to be calculating mean angles. So I want to show you how to do that. The first thing I want to tell you is you don't have to report the angles from your total station. You don't have to convert those to decimal degrees to do this math. Okay, um, most in most cases you can do this math um, in your head with degrees, minutes, seconds, uh, and you don't have to do the conversion. Okay, I'm not saying you can't convert, but you don't usually you don't need to. Okay, so we're going to work two examples uh, of the easy the easy way, and then we're going to work uh, we're going to work one example the hard way. Okay, and so the easy way. To do this is when they when you actually have the angle values and 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 you don't have the actual circle readings so that's what we're going to do first then i'm going to show you how you would do the same exercise with with angles um, when you aren't given the actual angle calculated from the circle readings when you're given the actual circle readings okay so in this case we we have four angles that were measured horizontal angles angles to the right they're all about 232 degrees and we want to know what is the average. Okay, so what I want you to focus on here is you can just foc you can just use the seconds column for most modern surveys. Okay, now if these are close to 60 or zero, then you might have to worry about the minutes column. But for most modern measurements with a total station, you're not over here in the degree column as a general rule. Okay, so our instruments are usually measuring, you know, pretty close together on the seconds column. Now we'll look at an example where you do have to look at these other two columns, okay? But I just I, I want you to understand most most of the case most most cases you don't need to do that. Okay, so what we can do to figure out what this mean angle is is we can just calculate the mean value of the seconds. So we can just come down here and say, hey, we know we're going to be 232 degrees in 11 minutes. We just don't know what the seconds are. Okay, and so to do this, we just we just run a simple average. Okay, so we're going to add up those four numbers. Okay, and then we're going to divide by four. That'll give us the average. So let me step over here to my phone and do that. So we've got 18 plus 22 plus 26 plus 17. Okay, it's going to be 83. And we're going to divide that by four to get the average. Okay, it's going to be 20.2 so 20.75, so I'm going to round up to 21. Okay, so that's our average angle. Okay, now that is the easy way to do it. Okay, now let's let's look at another example. Again, it's still the easy way because we're we're given the angles. Okay, but we're going to look at another example where we're, we're going to push over into the minute and the degree column. Okay. So we'll keep 232, but this time we're going to do 59. Our first angle will be 5903. Then we're going to have 5905. Then we're going to have 5856. And we're going to have 58. 52. Okay, now, now you have to worry about more than just the seconds column, right? You can't just average these numbers. Okay, so I'm going to let you, I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you a little secret. When you're dealing with numbers like this that are close to an even minute, what you can do is you can cross these out, put a zero there, and add 60 over here. So this becomes, this three seconds becomes 63, and the five becomes 65. Now you can average these. So let's do that math real quick. 
So we got 63 plus 65 plus 56 plus 52. Okay, that is 236. We're going to divide that by 4. Okay, and that gives us 59. All right, now here's your rule of thumb. If your number is below 60, you're going to use the lower minute the 58. If your number is above 60, you got to use the 59. Okay, so in this case, we're 232, 58, 52. Okay, now the same thing could apply to the degree column, right? Let's just say we'd, we'd come back and done, well, if, if these numbers were, were all 59s, let me let me let me use it. Let me let me show you with another example. I'm sorry. So it's going to be the very same principle if you're close to a whole degree. Okay. So let's say we're 232, 59, 56, 232, 59, 57, and then we're 233, 0, 0, 10, and 233, 0, 0, uh, five, okay, we want to figure out that average. Okay, you do the same thing here. You cross these out and make them, um, I'm sorry, you cross these out. Okay, you cross these out, make them 232. Okay, and then you can carry that down. Okay, so that gives you an extra, um, did I do that right? Let me think about this for a minute. 233. Yeah, what you do is you come down here and you add your 60. I wanna make sure I did this right. 259, 57. Yeah, you add your 60 down here, okay? So this is gonna become this is going to become 70, and this is going to become 65. Okay, so then you can do your average again with your seconds. Okay, so we're going to average this column here. Okay, so let's add those up. So we got 56 plus 57 plus 70 plus 65 equals 248, okay, divided by four. Okay, so our average is 62. Okay, now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. You gotta be careful. So we're 62, which means our seconds is gonna be zero two, because we're in a base 60 system. Okay, and we need to be on the high side over here on the minutes or degrees. Okay, so what that means is we're not 232, we're 233. So we're 233-00-02. Okay, if this number had been under 60, then we'd be 232.59, whatever that number would be. Okay. All right, so that's the easy way is when you're just given the angles. Now, sometimes in a problem, this will, well, this will usually only happen on a test because <laughs> your total station is always going to report the actual angle values. But on a test, you might get a question with some circle readings. And what they're trying to determine there is if you understand how angle measurement in a total station works. That's what they're trying to determine with those questions. Okay, so <clears throat> what they'll give you is they'll give you some backside circle readings and they'll give you some foresight circle readings. And then they'll either ask you to calculate the angles or calculate the average angles. So let's just look at some examples. Okay, so these are our backside circle readings. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 10 seconds, 0, 0, 0, 0, 5 seconds, 0, 0, 0, 0, 15 seconds, and then 359, 59, 55. Okay, then they'll give you your foresight readings. Okay, so here's our foresight readings, all about 270. Okay, and then they'll say, Given these circle readings, calculate the average angle or the mean angle. 
Now, you can't just go over here to your foresight and start adding up your seconds and averaging. Because you got to take into consideration your backsight reading. So, <clears throat> let's draw an example here with a, with a, I'll use my fancy, see if I can use my fancy uh, compass tool here. All right. Okay, so we're we're trying to to backsight approximately zero, right? On our circle, horizontal circle, and then we're turning an angle to the right. This is the foresight, roughly over here at 270. So we're doing something like this. Okay. Now, this first Backside is perfectly zeroed, which means we don't have to make any adjustment to the foresight because we started with clean zeros, okay? But down here, you notice our backside was 10 seconds ahead of zero. Okay, so our backside, this angle here was 10 seconds. That means that this foresight angle got pushed 10 seconds too far forward, right? So we have to come in and adjust. So if this is if this is 10 seconds past zero, then do a, to calculate the angle, we have to subtract this 10 seconds from the 20 over here. Okay, so that means that actual angle measured was 270, 10, 10. Okay, same thing here. Five seconds past the back sight, pushed our angle too big, so we gotta subtract. That 20 becomes, sorry, becomes 15. And that's the actual angle measure, 270, 10, 15. This one, the backside got pushed 15 seconds too far forward, which means his angle got measured, the foresight reading was too big. Okay, so we're gonna subtract 15 there, that puts us at 10, 270, 10, 10. Okay, this time, the backside, when we, when we measured the backside, we were five seconds short. So we're over here five seconds. Which means when we came over here to measure our foresight, the foresight is, is foresight circle reading is five seconds too low. So we got to add five seconds. So this becomes 15. Now we can add up our seconds and calculate the average. I can just do this one in my head because I cheated. Okay, so our angle, the actual average angle measured is going to be 270, 10, 12.5. Okay, so we're going to round up to 13 seconds. That's the average of these numbers. Okay, so what I want to show you is that you, you can't take your foresight reading as the actual angle measured. You have to consider whether your backsight reading was uh, before or after zero. Was it right of zero or left of zero? If it was right of zero, if your backsight reading is greater than zero, you have to subtract from your foresight reading. If your backside reading was less than zero, if it was left of zero, then you have to add to your foresight reading to calculate your angle. Okay, and hopefully that makes sense if you understand how the circle on a total station works. If it doesn't make sense, let me know in the, in the comments on the YouTube video and I'll try and explain it better. Okay, so now you know how to calculate mean angles, when you're given angles in degrees, minutes, seconds, either the actual angles or the circle readings, the backsight and foresight circle readings on the horizontal circle of a total station. This is probably gonna be one video in a set of videos I'm gonna start doing on error adjustment in surveys. Um, I, want, I want my text to, to know that. And so, uh, you know, being able to average angles in degrees, minutes, seconds is an important part especially when you're working with total station data of how to adjust total station data. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.